Hey there, it's Nurse Leslie, the beauty on duty. Today's video is kind of going to be a little hodgepodge of notes for nurses regarding pharmacology. So I'm going to talk about some medication error prevention tips. Um, I also want to talk about some suffixes that you'll find commonly um, with certain types of medications. And then finally, um, some drug, food, and herb interactions, things to look out for and to teach your patients when you're giving certain medications. So let's get started. The five rights, I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of the five rights, um, giving the right patient the right dose of the right medication via the right route at the right time. So those are all fantastic, but there are also five more rights, and I'm pretty sure if you want to go on and on you can keep adding but um, the five more rights that I really like um, you have to have the right documentation the right patient education uh, the patient has the right to refuse you want to do the right assessment and have the right interventions so these are all really really awesome techniques for preventing medication errors which I really love and I feel like if everybody does it it'll significantly decrease the possibility of medication errors. So some common suffixes that I've learned recently um, with pharmacology and learning different drugs, um, say for instance, antibiotics. You've got oxacin, you've got psyllin, you've got um, mycin, you've got, um, what's the other one? Cyclin, like, um, let's see, tetracyclin, amoxicillin, penicillin, things like that. So when you hear the cillin, mycin, uh, oxacin, and cyclin, you know those are antibiotics. Um, diuretics, typically in, in MID, M-I-D-E, for instance, furosemide, like the common Lasix. Lots of people use Lasix uh, for a few different reasons. Uh, Anti-anxiety medications will end in PAM or LAM, um, so look for that. And then opioid analgesics will end in DONE, like methadone, D-O-N-E, and local anesthetics ending in cane, like Novocaine or Lidocaine. There are lots and lots and lots, but you know, I'm not going to do all of them on this video, but if you have any specific requests, just let me know and I'll, um, I'll respond. And finally, drug, food, and herb interactions. And these are very important when teaching your patients or if you take any of these specific drugs, it's really important to know. So starting off with NSAIDs. NSAIDs are um, anti-inflammatory pain relievers, such as ibuprofen. So when you're taking that, you want to avoid or moderate ginseng and ginkgo. Um, moving on to the statin drugs, drugs ending in statin, which are lipid lowering agents, um, like for high cholesterol, you want to avoid or moderate your intake of grapefruit, and specifically, you don't you don't want to have more than 200 milliliters of grapefruit juice each day. Um, so that's important when teaching your patients. Um, anticoagulants like warfarin and coumadin. Of course, you want to moderate your vitamin K intake because vitamin K helps with clotting and that's just going to, you know, reverse the effects of the medication. Also, you want to avoid and moderate garlic, ginger, and ginkgo. So, you know, it's a lot to remember, but, you know, it's really important. Um, moving on to lithium, which is a mood stabilizer um, for people with manic, manic depression. Um, you want to avoid significant increase or decrease in sodium intake. And finally, tetracycline, which is what? An antibiotic. That's right. <laughs> you want to avoid or moderate um, your iron and calcium intake. So, you know, the list goes on and on and on, but I thought this would be a good start. And if you haven't started um, looking into things that you should avoid, not just drug interactions, but food and herbs as well, um, it's really, really important to know. So I hope this video helps. I hope you find this information useful. If you have any questions, please just let me know. Um, feel free to leave comments, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.